up everybody how's it going my name is martin alejandro and i'm here to do a quick little documentary on a project that i'm working on if you like business hey, you might get something right so check it out um i uh you might know me from my previous business uh, i'm the ceo of universal auto sales in santa paula then i opened up martini's auto sales and that's where i started getting all these ideas and putting them together into into one creation um, I started with Martini's Auto Sales, uh, then I opened up Martini's Pawn Shop, then I opened up Martini's Auto Detail. And right now, as we speak, in the next two weeks, I will be opening Martini's Auto Services, and I will be opening up Martini's Towing, right, those two. And I have Martini's Home Remarketing, which I'll tell you a little bit, which is on the side, but I'll tell you more about that. Um, now, you're... You're probably asking yourself, what, you open up a pawn shop, how did you open up a pawn shop after a dealership? Now, the reason why I opened up a pawn shop right, next, uh, right after a dealership was because I started thinking outside of the box. Actually, I got the box and I threw it away. Um, and I started thinking, what do I need to do to, to change the game around? You know, um, so what I started doing is I started advertising, you know, bring anything of value and I will take it as a down payment. So people were bringing their boom boxes, their Xboxes, their PlayStations, they'll buy like a new PlayStation, they'll bring the old one, you know, and they're buying a car, so they trade it in, they have laptops, they have uh, computers, they have speakers, subwoofers, everything of value, even your mother-in-law, no, I'm just kidding, not that one. <laughs> um, but anything of value, uh, they were trading in and that's how I actually got the pawn shop because I started advertising I didn't think it was gonna be a boom So when we started getting all these things in boom boom boom, I don't know what to do with this. So what do I do next big thing? Pawn shop baby, so you know we started putting some really good prices and, and you said why why would you take these things and, and items as a down payment? Well, I started because I want to help my customers because you know the uh, um, subprime deals meaning uh, people that have bad credit, repos, bankruptcy collections, things like that. Usually banks will finance them, but they will ask them for a certain amount of, of investment. Now, that certain amount of investment, sometimes not everybody has that certain amount of investment. It could be $1,000, it could be $1,500, it could be 2000 You know, some people don't just have it at hand. So what we start doing is we'll, we'll, we'll create value for you on something that you don't need, but you do need a vehicle because a vehicle is a necessary item. It's not luxury anymore. No, 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 no. It is necessary to feed your family, you know? So it's a necessary item to go to work. I mean, some of you have the luxury of walking to work, but those that work 20, 30, like me, 40 minutes away, I, a car is a necessity or else I wouldn't be here, you know? Um, so, you know, we started taking these items and we would drop your payment, drop the price, drop everything, make sure that you got a better, better deal. And, you know, customers were so happy, um, you know, and, and that's what it's all about. So that's how we opened up the pawn shop, which, you know, I'm actually working on expanding it because what I want to do is I want to do a mobile pawn shop. And you guys better not steal my skin. It's here to take. But you know what, I want you to, you know, I want everybody to learn from this because if you're watching this video, I guess it was good. Um, you know, I made it into a mobile pawn shop, which, you know, you load up, you know, you get a truck, you put a big old martinis on it, right? <laughs> you know, you display it, boom, boom, boom. And, and you know, you go to a swap meets and you go to, you know, soccer games or you go, you know, whatever it is where you can find your customers and they will buy product from you. So that's how we opened up the pawn shop. Now, the auto detail, Martini's auto detail. I would contract other people to come and wash cars from you or people to call me and say, hey, Martin, I need to get my car washed or I, got my, I need my car detail. Who can you send me to? And I'd be like, oh, here's this number, here's this number. And I'm kind of like, wait, I'm just like tossing away money. When I can have my own detail shop right here, ready to go, giving my customers five, $5 hand wash cars because I want you to come over here with your car because I want to see it. I want to see what you're driving. Maybe I could get you into something better. Or maybe I just wash it for you and make it nice and shiny and clean, right? So that's how we got Martini's Auto Detail. So if you need a car wash, let me know. I'll clean it up. Um, then we got Martini's Towing. Now, how I got Martini's Towing is because, you know, people are calling me and say, hey, I need a tow truck. I need, you know, even me personally, myself, I, you know, when customers give me their trade-ins, I need to go pick it up because some of them don't even run. So what I do, I got, hey, uh, hey, you tow truck, can you go pick this up? Hey, I was like, man, I just tossed away money. So I decided, you know what, I'm going to get a tow truck. So I bought a tow truck, you know, so I got Martini's 
towing. Uh, which not only that, but I am on the 126. I'm on the freeway. The freeway is actually in front of me. I don't know if you hear the cars passing by, but I'm actually doing this documentary inside the office. Uh, <clears throat> so I have the freeway. So me, I'm thinking, man, you know what? I see cars break down every single day. You know, I mean, they're just passing by. Something happens. Yeah, they need a towing company. Baby, I'm right here. Let's do it. Woo! So, um, you know, that's where I got, you know, uh, towing. I see a lot of cars on the side, you know, because I drive on the 126 every single day. I'm, I'm, I'm one of the travelers, you know, so I know what's necessary. Um, you know, it actually happened to one of my, some of my employees that they're driving and, 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 uh, uh, you know, um, people that I know, they've run out of gas and they're on the side of the road. They need somebody to assist them. Who are you going to call? Martini's towing. <laughs> but, uh. Yeah, Martini's Towing, that's how I got that one established, you know, and I'm actually, the grand opening is on April 9th, which is in a couple of days, um, but you know, I, I want to get it pumped up, you know, that's what I'm telling you about it, so you already know, you get stuck on the 126, not only that, but I got the 5 freeway, and I got the 101, then I got the 23, so I got 1, 2, 3, 4 freeways in one location, amazing, right? So, uh, not only that, but we got the uh, Martini's Auto Services. Now, you're thinking, what is Martini's Auto Services? Okay, well, Martini's Auto Services is, I was going to open up Martini's Insurance, but that doesn't make sense because I don't want to just sell insurance. You know, I want to do DMV paperwork for you. What if I could do your DMV paperwork? What if instead of waiting an hour, two hours, three hours, four hours with a bunch of strangers, little kids crying, going crazy, you know what, you just go to Martini's Auto services, sorry, I get <laughs> all these things. Um, auto services, and you get everything done right there. You need a registration, you need a transfer of vehicle, you need uh, uh, anything that has to do with the DMV paperwork that we can help you with. You know, transfer forms, you know, uh, smogs, whatever it is that you need us to print out, we will print out. We are here to serve you with DMV purposes. Not only that, but I wanted to bring in insurance. Like I said, Martini's Auto Insurance. I wanted to insure people. And the reason why is because I was having so much, I was having so many problems because I don't know if you know, but we sell cars to 11, 12, 1, even 2 in the morning. And if you don't believe me, check out my Showtimes on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. What Showtimes is when we sell a vehicle, we do a celebration, we get mad. Oh, look at you. See, we do a bunch of stuff and, and we put some music on and we congratulate our customers. So that's just a side topic, but just so you know more about martinis. Um, so that's that's where we got that from, you know, and uh, um, the, ins oh, the insurance. Uh, so the insurance, um, we would be here till 1, 2 in the morning. We wouldn't want to release the vehicle to the customer because they don't have insurance. We can't get a hold of their agent. We can't get a hold of anybody. So we said, well, what if we sell a car and we sell insurance because the insurance company is connected? So we all we do is make a call. Um, and they, they will do because it's part of the team, teamwork, right? Um, not only that, but another big thing is impound recoveries. So if your car ever got impounded, let's just say you're, you don't have a license, your dad, your mom, your brother, your cousin, somebody doesn't have a license, their car gets impounded, take away their car, it's in the impound, right? It stays there for 30, 30 days, after 30 days, you will... 2500 2 grand, 2500 3 grand, depending on how fancy or how well known this place is, because some of them charge 75 bucks to 125 bucks a day, which is crazy, you know? So, I'm here to help you out because let me tell you how I'm going to help you out. If it gets impounded, you can look for me, especially, uh, um, you know, if you have, if everything goes good and you have the pink slip, you have the registration, you have everything, I can go over it, take it out of impound because of the auto sales, right, I, I have, you know, be, I have the rights to do some stuff, um, to take it out of impound, I'll tell you about it later, but, point of it is, I get the car, I give it back to you, I save you a lot more money, that's what it is about, you know, instead of paying two, three grand, if they tell me I gotta hold it for 30 years, I hold it, you know, in my storage facility, which is in paying, you know, two thousand, three thousand dollars, you'll pay way less, so you, you gotta get me right away, you know what I'm saying? Don't let, let it stay there and, you know, inquire fees. You know, just get me right away. I'll take it out of the impound. I'll put it, put it in mine. I'll save you money. Um, and the home remarketing. I started, you know, buying young. So I started flipping homes and things like that. But, you know, that has nothing to do with it. Well, I can do it. It has something to do with it. But, 
you know, I just want to let you know on some of the projects that I'm working with. And, and you know, if you have any questions on something like this, I just want to put it out there. Just Martini's Auto Sales, Martini's Pot Shop, Martini's Auto Detail, Martini's Services, and Martini's Towing. So, whatever, uh, um, hopefully you get to see my new one. And when you see my new one, I'll start showing you more. But that's why I want to do a quick documentary. It's only, oh, damn. All right, you guys have a good one. My name is Martin Alejandro. You can look me up in uh, Martinis under dash life on Instagram, or you could uh, uh, Facebook Martin sells cars. Um, yeah, whatever you guys need, let me know. Thank you for watching. You guys have a beautiful day. Oh my God, you're good looking. I'm talking about you.